I'm here to build a bear. Yeah, it's for a gift and I'd love for it to have like a shirt as well. And then we're just gonna kind of place it between your hands. Rub your hands together so it's nice and warm. Go ahead and tap the heart so the heart is going. Now wave it in the air for a big imagination. Over your forehead so it's nice and soft. On your tummy so it never goes hungry. And over your heart so it's lots of love. And by your side so the bear is always by your side. And on your knees, so when you need it, so it's there for you. Go ahead and place it between your hands again. Close your eyes. Make a big, big, big wish. And then when you're all ready, go ahead and give the heart a big kiss. All right. Welcome to Hidden in Plain Sight, episode two. I'm Harrison White, and today we are on Balboa Island. For most of my life, there has been one home in Newport Beach that has always been a mystery to me and many other residents. Teddy bears in all of the windows and a sign out front that read, a very happy day. Naturally, rumors circulate through the community and as they do, get quite clouded with people who like to tweak stories for their own amusement. Well, today that changes. Marcy Cook, who has lived in this home for 31 years, has been kind enough to let me ask her a few questions as well as give me a tour of her home. According to our first correspondence, she is up to 5,946 bear buddies, which is a number that I can't even count up to. Before we get started, I interviewed some Newport locals to get their insight on this Newport landmark. I've been walking the island for 20 years. And she changes them out seasonally. So like she'll have her 4th of July bears, she has uh, Christmas bears, and so she's constantly like rotating the bears and like dressing them up in different things and um, it makes it fun for all the kids. Been coming like for the last seven years. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we, we you can't miss that spot, you know. Can't miss it. Everyone knows it. Uh, I think I think there's people that love it and other people that think it's a little over the top, but uh, everyone definitely has an opinion on it. And uh, I don't know how it's been as long as I can remember. She's had bears in the window. Yeah. I think there's actually a sad component to the story. Oh. Okay. Something to do with I believe it has something to do with. Uh, a deceased child of hers. I mean, it definitely freaked me out as a kid, but you know, it doesn't go anywhere. They yeah. decorate it for like every holiday, dress up all the bears, super fun. But yeah, it's kind of an island staple. She has 6,000 bears and see the inside. <laughs> is it only 6,000? It is only 6,000. I thought it was like 8,799. Wow, that's a specific number. <laughs> How'd you get that number? Um, I usually I ask her once a year, like, oh. hey, what's the number at this year? Okay. So I thought that they were up to over 8,000, but... Maybe she got rid of a few. The okay. commitment is definitely there. You yeah. Got, you got to appreciate the commitment, no Ab doubt. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys. Enjoy your walk. All right, let's go meet Marcy. Marcy, thank you so much for letting me and Jackson into your home. I was curious, first of all, how long have you lived on Balboa Island? Uh, we moved here in 1975. Okay. Long time ago, but not into this house. This house, 1992, we bought it and, and moved in in 1993. And have the bears been here the whole time? One bear came over from the other house because I didn't collect bears over it when we lived on Diamond. Um, so one bear came over with me, and then Beanie Babies were in vogue. My son was dating a young lady who collected Beanie Babies. She got me started. So then one went to about 101 very quickly. Okay, wow, that's Beanie amazing. Beanie Babies did it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they, and Beanie Babies are, rage. they're worth quite a bit now because no, they're, they're not, not at all. No. They make it sound like it. The other day I saw, oh my gosh, if you have a piece there, you can get up to two thousand dollars for it, right? I went. I went. Oh my gosh! I have a peace bear. I have five peace bears. There's no way I get. Who who's gonna pay that money? So then I go and look online, and you can get it for like twenty nine ninety nine. You can get it for thirty five on eBay. So just lot lots of rumors. I don't know. I yeah. Don't, yeah. I don't. Who's willing to pay two thousand? I'll be glad to sell one of my. That's pretty funny. And do are the bears just down here, or are there bears all over? everywhere okay even in closets oh okay. i mean they're there they're, you will see they are everywhere in okay. the bathrooms in the closets in the hallways in the office in the 
bedrooms, everywhere. Yes. Kitchen. <laughs> yes, there are. <laughs> uh, oh, the count now is going to go up by one. So it's now 5,949. Besides getting them as gifts from people like me, how, how do you choose your bears? Do you not even choose them? You get them as gifts now or? A lot of them, I just, all of a sudden, they are here. I, uh, during COVID, I opened the front door and a big bear, really big bear was just sitting there on, on the doorstep. Or another time I walked out and a man was putting a big bear out on the porch saying, this one's been injured, but I think this is a nice happy home for it. So it came here and became part of my collection outside. So sometimes unsolicited gifts. Exactly. I, I don't want to be the goodwill that takes, you know, every moth eaten bear, but obviously I, you know, I've, I've, I've accumulated a number of them that are quite nice from just somebody who didn't want them anymore. I'm sure you're familiar with how teddy bears were invented. Uh, oh yes. I the original name was Teddy's Bear, as in Teddy Theodore. Roosevelt. And um, I was curious if you had one of those original Teddy's bears. I don't have one of the originals, but I have three bears that are part of the Roosevelt collection. I guess they had done a seven of them, a family members and, and all. And I just picked those up in Palm Springs at an antique store a few weeks ago. So Wow. Uh, Rumors are that you started your collection because of a potentially deceased family member you know, that it's, loved. It's interesting. And I don't know where that rumor started. I have, and I, well, I think I know why that I have a room dedicated to angel bears in honor of my son who passed away of cancer at age 20. Okay. So I think that's where some people said, oh, that's why she's collecting teddy bears. I, that wasn't why I was collecting teddy bears, but that's why I'm featuring my angel bears. I'll show you them in, 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 in one of the a rooms. Dedicated and, room. In a dedicated room that is dedicated with his bed and his bulletin board and his karate belts, et cetera. So, okay, yeah. very cool. Well, thank you for sharing. Yeah. And then another rumor that I had heard is that you have – actually 8,000 bears and they're in a warehouse somewhere not near Balboa Island. No, I have, a t my total count is the 5,949 now. In the house at the moment, I think there are 3,000. I could tell you exactly, up. I have, I keep a little ledger thing. I could tell you exactly how many, I think it's 3,008 or something that are in the house at the okay. current moment. 2,000 are Christmas bears only. They only hi they're hibernating right now. They come out in December and they come out in full bloom. And a lot of these, in fact, everything that you're seeing in this room will go away, every bear, unless it can be dressed easily into Christmas costumey things and become part of the Christmas collection. But there's no way a pastel color bear like the one in the window over there would qualify to make the cut for Christmas. Balbo Island is known for its Christmas the, the houses compete kind of, I, I don't know. Could you, could you explain, do you compete in the? Okay, the very first, when we moved from the Bayfront, we always decorated for Christmas, always, but not teddy bears. It was just Santa Claus, a snowman, you name it. When we moved to the Bayfront, I started my teddy bear collection, but we weren't overly into teddy bears. It was still the Santas. We decorated a little bit. Over there, we only decorated inside because mm. that's where we had our parties. That's where our friends came. That's where we spent all of our time. So we didn't think about decorating the outside of the house. When we moved here, people, of course, are looking in the windows all the time, and they're wondering, well, oh, wow, there's some Christmas deck. And we thought, oh, we better start decorating outside. outside. So then we started decorating outside, and one year uh, there was a knock at the door and these men were out there with this wonderful old banner that said and they said congratulations and we said congratulations for what and they said you're a winner and we went we're a winner of what we didn't know and they said oh the christmas boat parade decorating contest we didn't even know it existed oh my gosh and so that first year we were like oh wow we didn't even we didn't realize. And, I and so how, how many times would you say you, you have won, won the Christmas competition? Um, well, there's a number of winners, but I'm one of the winners. I think it, uh, we just counted 25 out of the last 27 years. Wow. That's crazy. So I don't decorate to win. I decorate because I love decorating. You're a festive you know. person by nature. And as we can see here, everything is super meticulously decorated. Do you uh, want to hold the microphone? No. The, okay. Oh, I, no, I, I can't. Care. Okay. I care. Uh, here in the kitchen, obviously, what, what are the bears? Kitchen bears. They look 
They're dressed okay, up like chefs. Cook. Cook, okay. And what's my last name? Marcy, Marcy Cook. Then Cook. It's Cook. The kitchen has a theme of cook bears, except at Christmas. At Christmas, it'll become Christmas bears all over. Okay, okay up there and here are either clowns and or Mardi Gras as okay. a theme. Wow. And then we move into the beach themes. So we have Hawaii or just on beach time things all along here and there, going up to there. Then we get into our nautical, so you can see where we have the, Ooh, the captain's hats. <clears throat> yeah, the captain's hats, and and over there they are in, you know, nautical bears. I mean that I've purchased or received as gifts. Then I have some muffy bears along there. That's a type of bear. You don't a probably. Bears. It's a brand name like Stipe is oh, okay, a okay. brand name, and these are muffy bears too. They're just, they're, they're cute. They are cute. Yeah. They look like baby bears. I know. Some of them do. And then I've got some pirate bears there and there, and then some ladybug and flower bears there. Okay. So that's the living room. Beautiful. If you go in, into this bathroom, you will see. Can you tell what the theme is? Go honey there. bears. Yeah. Bears I that have it. something to do with honey or... I, one of them's Winnie the Pooh looking like, but it, it's basically just the honey bear theme or the bee theme, looking like you're a bee or, or related to that. Okay, wow. then as we go up the stairs, okay. you're going to see Winnie the Pooh in full glory okay. here and here. And then we move to Paddington Bear. Okay. So you can see those. Winnie the Pooh and Paddington. Wow. Then up here. So those are the movie bears, <laughs> if you will. Maybe, yeah. or, or character bears. Okay. okay, then as you move into my my room, you will see that people think they see so many bears. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> now, that is amazing. That's where the, that's where the bear count really that's... becomes like, whoa, it <laughs> mushrooms very quickly. So how, how many bears are in this room alone? This is the ledger that I keep. Okay. Going. So right now in the house there are 3,037 bears. Okay. Oh, 38. 38. Sorry, 38. No worries. <laughs> okay. And in this room, oh, I'd have to add them all. Because see, uh, some rooms I do by room. This one I did Marcy's dresser, which is that dresser. Oh, my Just gosh. on that dresser, there are 410 bears. And then on the valance, there's 44 more. Okay. And then on this dresser, there's 86. And then on the floor. Anyway, so there's a lot. Even the entry into the bathroom, you can see, I'll show you. There's bears everywhere. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> some of them. M &M bears. Some, oh, yeah. And some of them look like uh, they belong in a bathroom, right? Okay, yeah. The spa but see, bears. <laughs> right. And then we got a bear even there and there. Oh. But see, look, even here. Oh my gosh. And in, the, in closet, the closet, right, in the closet alone, that's the bathroom closet. There's 255 right there. Wow. So that's why the, the count gets. And those are mostly beanie babies. Those are all beanie babies. Oh, all yep. of them. Are all beanie of those babies. are beanie babies. Oh my goodness. And these are beanie babies behind you, too. Oh my goodness. Yeah. This room is kind of different country bears. So, like, I've, I, a lot of these I got when I was in England. I got those when I was in Scotland. Wow. I got some of those when I was in Japan. I, but these are the, when you asked about the Roosevelt, these have wow. this little thing. And they were all part of that collection. See, and there and they he, have that little pen. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, those are cool. Yeah, those. So those are the four that I just picked up at that antique place this oh year. Oh my goodness! But they're they're everywhere. Office bears. You can see. Yeah, you got to go in and, and capture those because oh <laughs> they're they're bears that have something to do with a frog. They are wearing a frog shirt. Oh, they have a frog. On they're their... holding a frog. Yeah. They're doing something. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> they're fun. That's amazing. Then we get to the angel bear room. Okay. And this was, that was Bobby's bed. And those were his karate belts up there. That was his, the bulletin board that he had at college when he was wow. going at SDSU. And it's freshman year. And then all the awards, when you asked, there were two in our, my bedroom. I forgot to point out, but oh these were are some of the different years. There awards that, that they gave and along there. 
at the awards banquet for the Christmas boat parade. Oh, look, there's there's the housing <clears throat> during Christmas. Yep, but it's it very, definitely has the Beanie Babies. It's the color. Thing. And the Beanie Babies and the Beanie Babies okay. galore. This is where, and then they came out with a bigger one they called a buddy. So the Beanie Baby and the Beanie, Beanie buddy. buddy. So wow. lots of them have matches or families. Of, <laughs> I like that, yeah. But anyway. So that's my house. Oh, my gosh. And that's my bear collection. Thank you so much. You're welcome. That was amazing tour. I, I really, really appreciate it. One last question on your house. It it does have a sign, a very happy day. Mm -hmm. I was just curious where, I mean, obviously it's a pun. Mm -hmm. We already know you like puns. So is that is that the real reason behind it or was yeah. there a... No. no, it, well, at Christmas, we first just had a a Christmas sign that we'd put up every year that said Berry Christmas instead of Merry Christmas. Then we thought, oh, we would like to keep it up all the time. We can't say Berry Christmas all year, so what could we say instead? So we did the Berry Happy Day. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people come by and comment on that. They say, oh my gosh, it makes me smile because it's saying, you know, you you have a very happy day. Marcy, thanks again for coming on Hidden in Plain Sight. Uh, I really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoy your bear. Oh, and thank you. This is special. Hidden in Plain Sight. That's great. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Bye. Bye.